So today we had a uh, master class, so to say, or an interactive uh, session together with uh, Professor Rodrigo Perez from Sao Paulo, from the uh, Abragama group on uh, watch and wait and, and the implementation of a watch and wait strategy in rectal cancer treatment. So the uh, issue is that um, first of all, we, when, when you look to the effect of neoadjuvant chemo radiation in rectal cancer, you will find that the subgroup of patients will develop a complete clinical response. So if you give them a radical surgery, you don't find any tumor left. So and this is really the beginning of another paradigm that you really start now to give neoadjuvant treatment in a so-called curative intent, so to avoid surgery and to put patients in a watch and wait protocol. So, the, but there are some difficulties. First of all, it's um, how to assess clinical complete response, because it's only by uh, digital examination, on top of that endoscopy, and now we add on, on that also imaging, like MRI, diffusion MRI, and PET scanning. So that's one of the issues. Second issue is when to do the assessment of the response to neoadjuvant. And so progressively you see that the interval became from 6 to 12 weeks. So normally today we reassess patients at 12 weeks intervals. A lot of attention went to the selection of patients and whether also patients with nodal or possible nodal disease could also benefit from this approach and indeed in most of those patients that get a complete clinical response of the tumor you also see a disappearance of the nodal disease. The background risk of persistent nodal disease is between 5 and 10 percent. Interestingly is then the concept of regrowth. Most of the regrowths occur within the first year, so the, the first year is of, a, is of utmost importance. And then the bigger the tumor or the more advanced the tumor was at the initial uh, uh, treatment, the more chances you have on regrowth. And finally, we, we looked at the uh, possibilities to increase the local control to increase the dose of radiotherapy, to use the interval to change and give the, the complete neoadjuvant or the adjuvant chemotherapy in a neoadjuvant setting. So it's always a, a must for, for people who are involved of G, in GI cancer treatment. I guess you get an, a really an update year to year. You get, uh, again, the theoretical aspect, you see where the innovation is going on. It's very important.